Welcome to the MLPA Analysis with GeneMarker Software Webinar by Soft Genetics. Basic functions in GeneMarker, such as importing data, setting analysis parameters, size and allele calling, importing, creating, and calibrating panels are all covered in the introductory webinar. It is recommended to review the introductory webinar before beginning specialized applications such as MLPA. Multiplex Ligation Dependent Probe Amplification, or MLPA, was developed by the Microbiology Research Center, MRC Holland, in January 2002, and is a technique used to detect exon deletions and duplications in genes. My name is Teresa snyder Libby. Thank you for joining today's webinar. GeneMarker is a comprehensive software program which starts with raw data import, data analysis, and linked special applications with final patient reports. All functions are linked to the main screen without the need to export and re-import into another program. This webinar will build on the topics covered in the introductory GeneMarker webinar and is organized in two stages, an introduction and MLPA analysis. In the introduction, we will implement user management and follow one data set through the process of importing data and reviewing the raw data, sizing, normalization, and allele calling, and panel customization and use of quality control probes in panels. For MLPA analysis, the same data set will be used to demonstrate the MLPA analysis application in GeneMarker. MLPA analysis is directly linked to the main screen. There is no need for error-prone data transfer steps. Analysis parameters are selected in one dialog box. MLPA results are easily reviewed with graphics and report tables. Duplications and deletions are seen in a trace overlay of control and sample, in dosage histogram, ratio plot, and report tables. Final patient reports contain a customized header, results in a trace overlay and report table, and an authorization footer for signatures and dates. To begin, let's activate user management. User management provides control of the user access rights and generates a user and edit history for each project. The administrator enters the institution name, password, and activates user management. User management also provides user ID and organization name for the header of the final MLPA report. As a quick review from the introductory tutorial, the data is imported using the File drop-down menu or the Open Data Start Project menu, then clicking OK. The default is set for FSA files. If you have a Megabase or Beckman genetic analyzer, please refer to the introductory GeneMarker webinar for the steps to reset the dye channels. Following data import, we will review the raw data. Raw data should have a downward trend in peak height as the fragment size increases. We'll take a closer look in the next slide. The upper electropharogram provides examples of common problems seen with MLPA data. Saturated peaks are generally above 8000 RFU and have a flat or split peak. Saturated peaks cannot be used for detection of insertions and deletions. Suggested solutions include decreasing the amount of MLPA product injected into the capillary electrophoresis, decreasing capillary injection time and voltage. An incorrect data trend of these sample peaks, the blue peaks, they should follow a steady decrease or ski slope effect in the peak heights from the low to the high molecular weight fragments. These peaks do not have this downward trend. It's an indication that there may have been a problem with the denaturation step of the MLPA reaction and the researcher may need to optimize the MLPA protocol. The internal size standard, or red peaks in this trace, should have a consistent RFU. If the RFU of the size standard has a ski slope trend, it is an indication that the capillary may be failing. In this sample is also missing a size standard peak in a large size range. Accurate size calling is dependent on known size standard peaks on both sides of a data peak. The problematic data set does not have a size standard peak on the right side of the rightmost data peak. 
Therefore, this peak cannot be automatically sized. The solution is to select a size standard that has at least one additional peak larger than the largest data fragment. The high quality data example in the lower electropherogram contains no saturated peaks. All are well below 8000 RFU. It has a ski slope effect in the data peak RFU and the internal size standard has a comp completely flanks the data peaks. As we saw in the introductory gene marker tutorial, running the project is guided by the run wizard. Activate the run wizard at the project drop-down menu. Select an existing template or create a custom template of run parameters. To create a template, type in the name of the template in the first rectangle. Select the panel, size standard, and size standard color from the drop-down menus in the first screen of run wizard. Select MLPA analysis for the analysis type. All settings for the Run Wizard template may be saved with the Save icon, avoiding repetitive selection of Run parameters from one project to another. The second screen of the Run Wizard has settings to correct for chemistry errors in raw data, including baseline subtraction, pull-up peak correction, and spike removal. Local Southern size call is the most commonly used size calling method for MLPA analysis. Allele call options to filter peaks based on intensity, global and local percentages, and stutter peak filters may be set at the right side of this screen. The final screen of the Run Wizard contains options for peak score and MLPA normalization methods. Increase the peak score to filter out poor quality peaks, peaks that are asymmetrical and or have a poor signal to noise ratio. There are three normalization methods available in GeneMarker. Please refer to the user manual for a detailed description of each method. Population normalization is the most commonly used method. It adjusts peak intensities based on an average of peak intensities from all probes of high quality within the sample and is recommended for MLPA kits that have a large number of data fragments. Internal control probe normalization adjusts peak intensities based on the intensities of the probes designated as controls in the panel editor. This is recommended for MLPA reactions with fewer data peaks. After completing the run wizard, click OK. Analysis occurs rapidly, processing 96 samples in approximately 15 seconds. After analysis, review size and allele calls prior to proceeding to the MLPA analysis. At the left side of the screen, the files with green sheets have high quality size calls. Please refer to the introductory gene marker tutorial for size calibration details. The allele calls may be reviewed in the electropherogram. Any comments or edits may be added by right-clicking on the peak. To display the report table at the right of the screen as the bin table, select the report table icon and then deselect show peak area. There are many MLPA kits available for research. Commonly requested panels are installed with GeneMarker. To import a panel into GeneMarker, select Tools, Panel Editor from the main screen. Then select File, Import Predefined Panels to select the needed panel. Additional panels may be downloaded from HTTP www.softgenetics.com slash downloads.html or contact us at tech support at softgenetics.com to request a specific version of a panel file.